Hi everyone, it's Forge Pedro here, and today I'm going to try a little trailer analysis. The trailer I'm looking at is the new teaser trailer for Fallout New Vegas, which comes out in autumn of this year. Okay, so the first thing we see in this trailer is this cowboy's face. Um, I reckon this cowboy is going to fulfill a very similar role to the Vault Boy from Fallout 3. If you remember, he was the little character who appeared in things like the morality system and also when you get got all the power-ups and perks. Uh, he often appeared in all the graphics there, so I reckon th this Wild West character is going to appear a lot. And also probably in the morality system. As you see, he has two faces in this. There's like a good face and a bad face, so if you do a good deed, you know, he'll have this happy face. If you do a bad deed, he'll have this evil face. And um, the Wild West, I think, is going to play a very important part in this game. I reckon it's going to be a very continuous theme, seeing how we're in the middle of the desert now. And I think it'll, I expect we'll find bandits and prospectors and probably old-style settlements with saloons and everything. Um, obviously with like a Fallout twist. Uh, okay, so as the view pans back, we find out that this, um, this cowboy's face is actually appearing on the screen for a robot, which... Uh, yeah, the screen makes up its head, so I reckon this this robot is gonna um, is, is gonna use its screen, you know, to express emotions, and, and it's probably gonna be um, a bit of a bit of a, a character in the game. Now, it's probably gonna fulfil a similar role to the Protectorons and Mr. Handys from the first game. Like, there'll be a few um, friendly ones we can go up and talk to, but there are probably also gonna be a few hostile ones. I, I noticed on the um, on his, uh, well, on uh, on the hand we, we uh, see on the left, which is actually his right hand, if you look, uh, you can actually see a gun muzzle in his in his hand. There's a lot of debate, actually. I've seen, I've seen a few analysis vids of this trailer, and most people seem to think that he's burying this body, but I think it's quite the opposite, actually. I think he's actually digging up this body. You look, he's picking up the soil f from the body, moving it to the side. I mean, we don't really know why he's doing this, so I'm just speculating here, but maybe... The robot, um, maybe this guy was the robot's owner, or maybe this the dead guy has something that the robot needs, like maybe just ca carrying a package or something. And it's a, it's a very fresh body, so it makes me think that uh, this guy's b been murdered actually and just dumped in a shallow grave quickly. You can see that there's like very little decay on the body and everything, and it's really the only sign we see in this trailer of death and destruction. Um, if you recall the uh, original Fallout 3 trailer, which later went on to become the, the opening of Fallout 3, in that trailer, which is almost exactly the same as this one, um, you know, with a panning back with the classic music in the background, and then finally we pan out to a character in, in the first one, there was a lot of uh, destruction as we were right in the middle of Washington, D.C., and you could quite clearly see the Washington Monument and all the, and all the uh, destroyed houses, but with this one, there's only really, like, this destroyed picket fence and... Apart from this corpse, there's very little sign of destruction. I mean, when we see Vegas in a in a, a few seconds, um, it's almost perfectly intact, and there are even like cactuses still growing in the background. So maybe the mountains or something have protected New Vegas from the uh, nuclear holocaust. Who knows? Okay, so I mentioned New Vegas, and uh, as you can see, it's virtually intact. And the most striking thing is that the power is still on, which I think is very very important. Probably from Hoover Dam. I think the power is going to play a huge part in this game. Like the the, the want and need for electricity, it's going to be um, probably the vital storyline, and everyone wants to fight over the, this electricity, which will be so rare in the uh, Fallout environment with all the regular power stations just being c uh, c completely destroyed and everything. Which makes me think that uh, New Vegas itself is probably going to be a bit like uh, Ten Penny Tower from Fallout 3. It's going to be a very exclusive place, like only the rich will be allowed there, and and, and they won't just let anyone in. Um, another interesting thing to note about New Vegas is that apart from the uh, stratosphere, which is this tall building in the middle, there aren't really any other recognizable uh, landmarks from the Vegas we know today. Um, like, you can't see any of the Luxor at all, the, the MGM Grand isn't there, the uh, miniature Eiffel Tower isn't there, New York, New York isn't there, which kind of makes sense if you think about the Fallout universe and how it's a, like an alternate future from ours, at, uh, and it's still very much in the 1950s and 60s, so, so it's probably going to be a lot more classy Vegas, I mean, you can hear the song in the background, uh, 
Blue Moon from Frank Sinatra. I mean, Frank sets the Sinatra and the Rat Pack were all very big in Vegas in the 1950s and 60s, so it's probably going to be a very classic Vegas. There probably will be Kiss casinos, but who knows? The settlement is big. I mean, it's a lot bigger than any of the other, of the other settlements we've seen in, in, in Fallout 3, so it's probably going to be a, a, a completely different style of gameplay. Okay, and the other big factor in this trailer is the figure we see at the end. Now this character is a big reference to the original Fallout games, Fallout and Fallout 2. Now this is a soldier, well we think he's a soldier, I mean he's not carrying a gun, but um, he looks pretty dark and evil. He's actually from the New California Republic, which is a, a faction from the original Fallout game, one of the biggest factions in the, in the Fallout world, and we, can, and we know this by the flag, and he's probably going to be the bad guys in this game, like maybe they'll be fighting up against the Brotherhood, the, the Brotherhood of Steel. I mean, his um, his outfit, I mean, the uh, shape of the helmet and the trench coat, it looks almost like a Nazi, and especially with the red glowing eyes, and I mean, this guy's got to be a baddie. He also appears to have something that could be a, a Pip-Boy, or maybe another type of wrist c uh, computer, and also there's a number 7 on his helmet. Um, well, some people think it's 171, some people think it's a 7 in brackets. Um, there's also an A7 on his back, which a few people think uh, this is like a reference to Vault 7, but I disagree. I think it's probably just like a, a platoon number or something. Okay, and then we have this final logo at the end, and um, the first thing we see is the Power Bolt. Now, the Power Bolt has appeared in, in all the other Fallout logos, but um, it's given extra emphasis here, which again, which ma makes me think it's, it's going to be all about power and, and electricity. I mean, especially with the way the uh, sign li lights up, I think it's another reference to how important electricity and power is going to be in the game. And Hoover Dam is probably going to be like a huge part of this game. It's going to be a huge base or something that uh, we're going to fight over. Uh, actually, looking back at the uh, soldier, the way he stood on this ridge above New Vegas, I think it, it, like it, it's it's sort of like a symbol of a huge battle. Like maybe he's just scouting out. And the flag is important as well. I mean, flags are only really laid if it's like um, you know, to mark out t t territory and you know to, to to you know to stake a claim and say you know this is my land. Um, well, then again, it could just be a tool to show that he's from the New C California Republic. So who kn who else what, who knows what else will be in this game like enemies I mean there's bound to be a few creatures appearing up again uh, probably desert creatures this time I reckon rad scorpions will re re reappear maybe death claws but we'll probably also be fighting other things like maybe rattlesnakes and giant lizards possibly and also got me thinking about other like uh, possible locations I had a quick look on Google Maps before and we're bound to see a few small smaller settlements appearing around. New Vegas, which you go and visit, like probably existing ones, like in Fallout 3, like um, only this time it'll be around Vegas, so possibly areas like Good Springs and Blue Diamond and Black Mountain and Boulder City as well are all names which I think, which um, exist around Vegas today, which but they all sound like perfect names for uh, Fallout uh, settlements. Okay, so that's my opinion anyway, what I think of this trailer. Uh, let let me know know what uh, you think as well. So write a so leave a comment underneath and uh, well just let me know what you think.